Jesse K. I was inspired uh, to do a 10 facts about me video by Layers of Beauty. Get, check her out, uh, subscribe to her, give her a follow on Instagram. She is so sweet and so talented at makeup. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she did this video where she just said 10 random facts about herself and I thought it would be a fun idea to do since um, people have been asking me for a Q&A and I have yet to uh, try to get the ball rolling on that. So yeah, I thought this would be a fun, like until then, to just get all up in my life, yeah. <laughs> the first fact about me is that I am usually always happy. Um, I owe it to those around me to be a positive force in all of the darkness. I think that's just like all around all of us right now. The world is a weird place and I think that having a cheerful demeanor helps me and other people and yeah, that's me. <laughs> fact number two is the best comment, someone's on their roof and that's the best compliment that I'd ever gotten in high school was this girl walked up to me and was like, Jesse, you're really weird. And I was like, thank you so much. And she was confused. She, she, that poor girl, didn't know what to do with herself trying to insult me like that because I was so excited because I, I want to be weird. Weird just means different yourself anything but the norm and that makes me happy I just do my thing screw what everyone else thinks I am happy to be a weirdo <laughs> fact three is I have two pets most people who follow me on social media think that I just have my little baby dog Sophie who is four years old but she's so little forever a baby and I also have my five-year-old cat Sasha she's just really mean and afraid of the camera. She, I don't know what her deal is. <laughs> she has problems. I'm so glad we adopted her though, even though she's terrible and leaves physical and emotional scars. I love them so much. They make life so much better. Fact number four. I usually have music playing in my head, like all the time. I just, sometimes this will happen and I don't know <laughs> that I'm dancing until I get looks from my husband or a kind stranger. <laughs> this is just how I am. I'm just high on life. It's it feels good. I you know if you don't if you don't experience the highs and the lows, what are highs and lows anyways? If you you experience all the dark stuff, the lights even brighter. So I'm just gonna keep dancing in my head. Don't get me wrong. I can have my freakouts like any other person and be sad and pissed off and get angry with like the way that the internet is. People are just mean and sad and take it out on others, but seeing the bright side of things helps. This is really like cheerleadery. Fact number five, I used to be a cheerleader. Eighth grade and ninth grade, maybe. One of those. Um, I can't believe that I used my cheerfulness in that way. It felt weird to be peppy. And I couldn't do many things. I could just do the splits. And that's why I was like accepted on the squad because I guess that was a big deal. Oh, fact number six, I think we're at, yeah. Fact number six is I do a lot of yoga. Um, it really gets my mind centered. It helps me to release all of uh, the emotions of other people that I take on throughout the day in my job. And it really, it helps me to just come back to me and the strength that I get from it physically as well as flexibility, physical and emotional really just makes my life so much better. So fact number seven is that I am a licensed mental health counselor. I uh, was the youngest person in my graduating cohort um, from my master's program. Uh, I was 23, I was a lot younger than most people. I had one friend who was a year older than me and then everyone else. Uh, it was a weekend intensive program so a lot of people had children, grandchildren into their careers that they wanted to change so that program worked really well for them. Me, I was just like weekend intensive. Great, I don't want to be in school all week. Just got out of undergrad. It'll be different. I can work, do my own thing. Um, so it was like once a month. Um, it was intense. So one week in a month. It was Friday from one o'clock in the afternoon to nine o'clock at night, Saturday morning from eight to five, Sunday morning from 8.30 to five. Like, <sighs> at least we were like focusing on one class at a time. It was intense. I'm so glad that I did it though because I absolutely love helping people 
it makes me, it's one of the things in my life that makes me feel complete. So I'll jump into fact number eight. We'll just keep this flowing, just energy flow or like water, is that um, I opened up my own private practice when I graduated. I've been a business for myself for three years, um, practicing counseling, and it's, oh, it feels so good to be able to work for myself. It's, it's really just absolutely wonderful. I'm so fortunate. Fact number eight, uh, Sage and I got married while I was in grad school. That was hard. I planned the whole wedding. <laughs> it kept us under it, like a good budget, so that was really good. Um, it's just one of the best decisions I've ever made. Um, we still we more celebrate we celebrate our wedding anniversary, but we also are really into celebrating our dating anniversary because he and I were friends for a while. I went through a really bad breakup, and then we became like best friends and then i realized that i was in love with him and he's he says that he thought it was too good to be true so when i told him like i love you he was like no you don't like <sighs> difficult man i had to prove it and it worked because <laughs> here we are like eight years later still together um young love can work we were like 19 and he's just Oh, he is just like the son of my world. <laughs> He's amazing. He's like the best friend that anyone could ever ask for and the best husband. He's perfect for me and I hope I'm perfect for him. He accepts me for me and he is amazing and I might start crying right now. Fact number 10 is that I love meeting new people. I absolutely just, I, I gain so much personally from getting to know the lives of other people. And people trusting me enough and being interested in me enough to like share their lives with me is a big deal. I love making new friends and just chatting with people. I have a hard time saying goodbye, so like airplane rides are usually really fun for me because I really get to know someone I'm sitting next to, but I'm just like, can this flight not end? Because I want you to be like my, my bestie forever. <laughs> I have to learn to be like, okay, it's a stranger. That's what flights entail. You gotta say goodbye. <laughs> but I, I'll, I'll just be the most friendly person that you'll meet, basically, and I love it. Thank you for tuning in and um, liking, subscribing. Look at these. Oh, yeah. You wear this lipstick color more often. ColourPop Avenue, I think. And all my nails are a couple of Miami Deco polishes. Forget the name right now. Gotta get some tape on these. And I'm dancing again, like I said, yeah. My goodness, not to say goodbye. Just let you, just let this video go and say goodbye. <laughs> I hope that you tune in next time for whatever else I'm blabbering about or whatever nail painting that I'm doing. Take care. Bye.